some NBA teams got a head start on their offseason if they didn't make the playoffs. One of those teams was the Chicago Bulls. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the three biggest things the Chicago Bulls need to fix this offseason if they want to be a playoff team for next season. But before I start the video, I need you guys to leave a like and hit the subscribe button because a lot of you guys that are watching my videos are not yet subscribed. So why don't you guys leave a like and hit the subscribe button and let's get right into the video. The first thing the Chicago Bulls need to add to their team this offseason is a floor general. The Bulls need a true point guard to fill in for Lonzo as he's injured. Nobody knows when Lonzo's return date is going to be, so as of right now in this video, I'm going to assume that Lonzo will not be back for next season, but as a Bulls fan, I, I, I hate to see Lonzo injured, and I want him to get as healthy as possible, and I wish I, he could be back on the court as soon as possible, but right now for the video, I'm going to assume Lonzo will not be back for next season, and the Chicago Bulls need a true floor general for next season and for the team to succeed. If the Bulls bring back Ayo Desunmu, Kobe White, and Patrick Beverly, if the Bulls bring them all back, I personally do not see any of them as true floor generals. Let's talk about Ayo Desunmu. For the season, he averaged 2.9 assists per game, and that's for the entire season, and he was starting for a majority of the season, and that's not good for your starting point guard to average less than three assists per game. He's more of a combo guard. He could, he could go between the one and the two. He'll run in transition. He'll bring energy. He's, he's developing the three ball more. He's getting more comfortable with it. And he'll, he'll, he's, he brings energy. But his playmaking isn't quite there yet. If he could develop a really good playmaking, which he can then he will be a good point guard for the future. I do like Ayota Sunu, but he is not a true floor general. Kobe White, he's developing his playmaking a lot better now. And towards the end of the season, he was looking like a really nice point guard. And his playmaking was solid, his shot, he was bringing a lot of energy, and he's a good all-around player. And he's continuing to develop his playmaking and all the other aspects of his game, but I personally do not see him as a starting point guard for the Chicago Bulls. He could be a starting two, but I see him as a backup two or a backup one maybe. His playmaking isn't quite there to what the Bulls would like to see or what personally I would like to see. And for Patrick Beverly, you know, it's Patrick Beverly. The next thing the Chicago Bulls need to work on and add to their team in the offseason is their three-point shooting. The Bulls were dead last in three-pointers made and attempted per game in this past season. The Bulls were making 10.4 threes a game and attempting 28.9 threes a game, and that equals out to 36.1% from three on average per game. And if you're a professional basketball team, making 10 threes a game is not enough to be competing in the playoffs or even winning regular season games. And Zach Levine is the only elite level shooter on the Chicago Bulls. He could pull up from anywhere past half court and he could make it at an elite level. He was the only one making above two threes a game. He was making 2.6 threes a game on 7.1 attempts a game. And this season may have been a little of a down season for Zach Levine, but in the past he, and he is still currently an elite level shooter from behind the three point line. But the only other Chicago Bulls players that were attempting above four threes a game were Kobe White and Nikola Vucevic, and they may be shooting a little below league average or at league average, and that is not enough. If you only have one elite shooter on your team, that is not enough to be competing at a professional level. So the Bulls certainly need to add and work on their three-point shooting in the offseason, so they can let players like DeMar DeRozan go into the mid-range and take care of that area and other players can stretch the floor. The third and last thing the Chicago Bulls should add to their roster and at least work on in the offseason is their defensive versatility. Because if the big three of Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Nikola Vucevic stay in Chicago, then that big three lacks a lot of defense. And the Bulls will need to 
fix the defensive problems and add other two-way or good 3 and D players or just good defensive players around that big three to make up for that lack of defense. Whether it's players like OG Ananobi or anybody else like Matisse Thibel, they need to add those good defensive players because that big three lacks a lot of defense, whether it's Zach Levine, Damar, or Nikola Vucevic. They lack defense. They can bring great offense, but they may not have the best defense. So that's where the Bulls need to work on their defensive versatility and bring in good 3 and D players or just good two-way play, two way players or just great defenders in general. They need to work on that. Ayo Desunmu's potential, he can get steals. Uh, Patrick Williams is a pretty good defender. He could always improve. But that's all I got for you guys today. So what the Bulls need to add and work on is they need to add a floor general. They need to work on their three-point shooting and work on and add defensive versatility. So that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you guys leave a like and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.